The JL-2C-based intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, the most powerful sea-based ICBM in open service, supports China's nuclear deterrent and is one of China's grand finale weapons. Why is the JL-2 submarine-launched missile, the core equipment of China's sea-based nuclear deterrent system, still recognized as an effective strategic deterrent? when its range data lags significantly behind that of the USD-5 and the Russian RSM-56. Has the composite guidance system formed by the fusion of the breakthrough and the technology of diverter multiple warheads and the Baidu satellite navigation system made up for the short range? The strongest sea-based intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, on the surface are the USD-5, Trident II, Russia's RSM-56, Brava, France's M-51, and China's JL-2 missile. Among them, the UK has not developed its own sea-based ICBMs and uses the USD-5 Trident II missile, the only one of the P-5 countries that does not have a domestically produced sea-based ICBM. In these sea-based ICBMs, the most comprehensive performance is undoubtedly the United States D-5 Trident II. The Trident II missile has a launch weight of 59 tons and a maximum range of 12,000 kilometers. Next is the Russian RSM-56. Brava, which has a maximum launch weight of 37 tons and a maximum range of 11,000 kilometers. Then there is the French M51 missile, which has a maximum launch weight of 56 tons and a maximum range of 11,000 kilometers. Finally, there is the Chinese JL-2 missile, which has a maximum takeoff weight of 45 tons and a maximum range of 9,000 kilometers. As you can see China's JL-2 missile is the shortest of the four ICBMs from China, the United States, Russia and France in terms of range, and the second to last in terms of maximum takeoff weight. This is not really surprising, there are two reasons for the weakness of China's JL-2 missile. One is that China itself is later than other countries in the development of ICBMs. ICBM technology has long lagged behind. The other is that China's own center of gravity in ICBM technology has long been on the land-based ICBM side. On the first point, China's first ICBM was the DF-5 ICBM, which was first successfully test-fired in 1980. In comparison, the world's first successfully test-fired ICBM was the Soviet Union's R-7 ICBM, which was successfully test-fired in 1957. The US was not far behind Russia in ICBM progress, and by the 1980s the competition between the US and the Soviet Union over ICBM technology had reached a feverish stage. So China's ICBM technology started to be almost 20 years later than the US and the Soviet Union, and when China's ICBMs began to start, the US and the Soviet Union in this area has been rolled up for 20 years. And in the last century, China in the industrialization and technology itself is seriously behind the United States and the Soviet Union, China's ICBM technology in the last century has been behind the United States and the Soviet Union. It was not until the DF-5B ICBM and the DF-31 ICBM entered service that China's ICBM technology caught up with that of the United States and Russia. When the DF-41 ICBMs were put into service, China's ICBM technology came to the forefront of the world and was able to compete with the United States and Russia. As for the second point, compared to sea-based ICBMs, China relies more on land-based ICBMs, the key to this is geopolitical. There are very few places around China where a nuclear submarine can be hidden, basically the Bohai Bay and the South China Sea. In the last century, China's surface warships are still relatively weak, the Air Force fighter aircraft is also very backward, the South China Sea controllability is very limited. In this context, China's nuclear submarines are difficult to move freely in the South China Sea, only Bohai Bay, China's absolute internal sea, can guarantee the safety of China's nuclear submarines. But the biggest problem of Bohai Bay is that it is too shallow, the average water depth is less than 18 meters. For a nuclear submarine, there is absolutely no point in going where the water is less than 100 meters deep, because you can't hide at all. Enemy satellites will know where you are and when you launched your ICBMs, in contrast. China's huge depth ensures the concealment and security of land-based ICBMs from the last century to the present. China has even built a 5,000-kilometer deep underground nuclear Great Wall under the ground, using the entire country as a protective shield for China's land-based intercontinental missiles. Therefore, for China in the last century, 
The development of land-based ICBMs is far more cost-effective than the development of sea-based ICBMs, China's greater emphasis on land-based ICBMs, coupled with the backwardness of China's ICBM technology in the last century, led to China's JL-1 missiles in service, at best, China's sea-based ICBMs, the JL-1's early models of the range of only about 2,000 kilometers, basically does not have the ability to fight. It was only with the development of the JL-2 missile that China was able to make sea-based ICBMs operational for the first time, but the 9,000 km range of the JL-1 was not enough to make it operational. But even so, its maximum range of 9,000 km is still relatively outdated. But we don't have to worry too much about this. With the changes in the international situation over the years, as well as China's military technology continues to develop, China's sea-based intercontinental missile technology to catch up with other countries is only a matter of time. For one thing, with the development of China's military power over the years, the range of activities of China's nuclear submarines has also increased. In the last century, China's nuclear submarines could only guarantee their own safety in the Bohai Bay, but now, with China sea surface ships to improve the range of activities, as well as China in the South China Sea on many of the South China Sea islands, and reefs to carry out the fortification, construction, China's control of the South China Sea has been very strong. As a result, China's nuclear submarines are now able to operate freely in the South China Sea, and the security and stealth of China's sea-based nuclear forces have been further enhanced. In the future, as the Taiwan issue is resolved and Chinese nuclear submarines are deployed within the harbors of Taiwan Island, the range of activities of Chinese nuclear submarines will be further enhanced. The second is the advancement of Chinese ICBM technology. The technological progress of China's ICBMs over the years has been considerable, and the technology of missiles like the DF-41 has reached a globally advanced level. With the precedent of the DF-41 missile, China's development of sea-based ICBM technology is not a big problem. Many people currently believe that China already has the JL-3 ICBM, which can reach a maximum range of 11,000 to 12,000 kilometers, with performance indicators catching up with the new generation of ICBMs from the US, Russia and France. However, China's military has always preferred to take strict measures of secrecy, on the new generation of weapons, which makes the JL-3 missiles did not disclose just, of course, this is only speculation.